Alright, so in today's video, I thought we would go over and take a look at some of the Raspberry Pi 5 rumors, see what some of these websites say, I don't know if they're real leaks or if they're just observations, but, and I also will be going over what I would like to see on the Pi 5. And this video is just gonna be more about talking about the Pi 5, and it's more of my dreams rather than real expectations, but still, I thought it'd be a fun video to make and you guys might find it interesting. So, let's get started. All right, so basically in this video, I have a lot of sources found right here, and we're gonna be just going through these sources, looking at them, trying to make some logical guesses and observations, and just try to talk about the Raspberry Pi 5, and just see what we can find. So first of all, this website right here is called raspberrypiexport.com, expert, not export. And so this says Raspberry Pi 5 release date, specs, price, and rumors. So, this is Raspberry Pi 5 release date, and basically it's talking about the generations of the like, different years between the releases of the different generations. Like it says it took three years to re release the second generation after the single board computer, and only one more year for the third generation. So if we look over, over right here at Wikipedia, we can see right here that the initial Raspberry Pi 1 Model B came out in 2012 and then the Raspberry Pi 2 came out in 2015 so that is a three year difference if we look over at the Raspberry Pi 3 Model D the first version of that version right here that came out in 2016 so that is one year after the Raspberry Pi 2 that's pretty quick then the Raspberry Pi 4 right here came out in 2019 which is three years after the Raspberry Pi 3 so there was a three one three year um space but right here you see right the raspberry pi 4 came out in 2019 so the raspberry pi 5 obviously did not come out one year later in 2020 and we're basically in 2022 right now just a few more days left so i would suspect that there is either going to be a three to four year gap between the four and the five's release date which i mean it could be expected and for the Raspberry Pi spec specifications, it says they expect a quad-core Cortex-A7 6, a 64-bit SoC with, at 2 gigahertz. I mean, that's a pretty good processor, I guess. 4 gigabyte, 8 gigabyte, or 16 gigabytes LPDDR5 SD RAM. That'd be nice. The Raspberry Pi 4 only has LPDDR4, as far as I can remember. Bluetooth wireless nice two traditional hdmi ports man that would be really nice to not have to use all those micro hdmi adapters anymore and have the full size hdmi ports would be incredible i'm micro sd card that'd be expected five uh, five volt dc through usbs connector and a gpio header those are all pretty similar so if the raspberry pi 5 was like this i would still be really happy i mean 16 gigabytes of ram would be pretty amazing and i hope that that processor is better i'm not exactly sure and performance sure the performance is going to be better than the raspberry pi 5 but how much better that's what i really want to know and right here it says several people opinion that the traditional micro sd card will be replaced with an inbuilt storage like emmc memory for better read write speeds and i think that would be incredible emmc is quite a lot faster than sd it's more reliable i think and it just would be overall much better to see on the raspberry pi 5. some of these other boards have it like the rock pi 4b those ones have built-in emmc modules and those really are a joy to use connectivity wi-fi bluetooth 5.2 ports it says usb-c for power supply and there was an issue with the usb-c on the raspberry pi 4 but seeing that a, a more fixed one on the raspberry pi 5 will be and usb 3.0 will be on there display yeah so price so they said the raspberry pi 4 4 gigabyte comes with a price tag of 80 dollars that's a bit high higher than i thought so we can expect the Raspberry Pi price to be around $90. I mean, sure, that could be, but I don't know. This source, I have no reason to believe that this is accurate since we don't have really any issues. And you can see there are some, maybe some spelling errors or like they didn't capitalize Raspberry Pi 5. I'm not saying it's not reliable, just some little things like that. 
All right, so now we're gonna take a look at notebookcheck.net, and this one talks about something that I thought was pretty interesting. That's why I wanted to include it right here. It's talking about Eben Upton, the CEO of Raspberry Pi organization, and it says that the Pi 4A would have already arrived, but due to the chip shortage, it hasn't been able to do that. But so it says the Pi 4A could arrive in 2022 possibly alongside an updated Raspberry touchscreen, which would be cool since they only sell a 480p 7-inch model for a half a decade. And that is pretty low for 2021 or 2022. So if the 4A is going to come in 2022, it wouldn't, I guess they could release a Pi 5 in the same year, but I don't know if it would make the same amount of sense. So they might want to leave the Pi 5 to the next year, 2022 three possibly maybe i don't know so right here on this blog right here on minder.io it says raspberry pi 5 what to expect and when and this is part that i thought was interesting this thing right here says that informed linux hint journalist glinus navaret i don't know if i'm saying that right sorry but he believes that it's almost certain that the new pi 5 will run the raspberry pi 5 operating system it's going to be debian based and this new os can run both 32-bit and 64-bit systems and has the ability to power 64-bit applications so long raspbian if that was a reality i think that would make huge sense for the raspberry pi 5 being able to run both of those type of applications on the same system if i'm understanding correctly that's what it can do now would open up the door to so many projects so much to do on the raspberry pi 5 and i hope that's true and it's not just some room where that's pretty cool two gigahertz cpu and counting upwards yeah I would even make sense for the Raspberry Pi 5 to start at 2 GHz on base, considering that the new with the new update on Raspberry Pi OS, most of the Raspberry Pi 4 models start at 1.8. 2 GHz for the Raspberry Pi 5 would make a good sense. Could EMMC enter the scene? I really would like that, but I don't know if that would be true. And two ports through an hdmi interface it could also speculate the 4k video playback refresh rate will remain at 60 hertz I it would make sense right now the raspberry pi pi 4 can handle 4k 60 and that makes sense not be able to go up to some higher refresh rate since it is a small little single board computer so on this website right here it's on all 3dp.com what it says right here, performance and efficiency. Yeah, it pushed the same parts at two gigahertz or beyond a new core IP and they think it will be the Cortex A72 or A76, sorry. And that's what the other one said. So it seems like a Cortex A76 could be the, the, the CPU or the SOC on this board. It makes sense. Um, core processors, they think a company could ask processing cores which would be really welcome no new ram options you know other the other blog did say something about 16 gigs of ram but i don't know about that really like do we really need 16 gigabytes of ram on a raspberry pi 5 it's even hard to use 8 gigabytes are we on the four is the pi 5 gonna be able to use all 16 gigs of that i just don't know so i don't know how likely that is and it would have to be quite a lot more expensive pcie connectivity so that would be pretty awesome to see some type of pci connectivity to the raspberry pi and you could like connect sata um, ssds or stuff like that if that's what it's trying to mean that would be pretty awesome power over ethernet it says that could be work that'd be interesting oh this is something pretty awesome risk v architecture and the company joined risk v international as a member back in 2019 so risk 5 could be stealing arms place in the cpu world right now but arm is still going to be here for a while at least i mean in my opinion so the raspberry pi 5 isn't going to have risk 5 I mean, I just don't think that's possible, but I could see the Raspberry Pi organization releasing a RISC-V architecture board down the road when RISC-V is more popular, more devices are using it, and stuff like that.
yeah so this is upswit.io and i mean they're pretty much all saying the same thing ports connectivity so yeah so we went through all those blogs and i think we kind of have an idea of what the main stuff is going to be on the raspberry pi 5. of course it could be totally different don't take this video for any real information this is just speculations guesses and stuff like that so now we already looked at the raspberry pi release cycle so now let's just talk about what i personally would like to see on the pi 5. so i would like to see on the pi 5 two real size hdmi ports that would make things so much easier than those small micro hdmi ports i would love to see an emmc module I would love to see LP DDR5 memory, and I would love to see four USB 3.0 ports rather than two, only two, and then two um, 2.0 ports. I would love to see all the ports be USB 3.0. I would actually love to see USB-C with the data transfer support, since I think that would be pretty useful if it would do that. Uh, yeah. I mean, the current Raspberry Pi 5 does do that too, but it's it's only for, you have to use it for power as well. Having an extra USB-C on the board would be useful. And a faster CPU, obviously, we don't want a slower or the same CPU on a new model. And a built-in cooling system was an idea that I saw in one of those blogs, and I thought it would be pretty awesome to just have because some of these single board computers by other manufacturers do come included with cooling, like a little fan or something, which would be really awesome to see on the Raspberry Pi 5, especially if it's gonna be more, more have more performance and if it's gonna need more cooling. And Gigabyte Ethernet would be really welcome. Faster Wi-Fi, since people do have some networking issues on the current Raspberry Pi 4, having faster networking would just be really good on the Raspberry Pi 5. So those are just some of my wishes for the Raspberry Pi 5. These aren't like rumors or specs or anything. These are just what I would love to see on the Raspberry Pi 5. So also let me know in the comments below, what do you wanna see on the Raspberry Pi 5? I, I would be interested to learn. But guys, there is a really sad truth. Right now, there is a global chip shortage in the world. And this isn't only affecting computer parts, this is affecting cars, graphics cards, that's computer parts, and video game consoles heavily. But it also affects small companies like Raspberry, not small companies, but it affects companies like Raspberry Pi organization because they can't produce as much stuff. Like currently, the Raspberry Pi 4 models are selling for much more than they used to sell just because they can't keep up with demand since there is a big chip shortage. I mean, it's even on Wikipedia as the 2020-2021 global chip shortage. This is a real shortage, it's an issue, and it's because COVID-19 and other just reasons like that and a China-United States trade war and drought in Taiwan. So it is sad and this is probably gonna make the raspberry pi 5 come out later than maybe even raspberry pi organization wanted to because they just can't keep up with demand i mean i don't know what they're going through especially but i do see that the raspberry pi 4 models are selling for more than they used to and it's probably because of the chip shortage so it's just something we have to live with but yeah so one last thing I'm going to tell you guys, you should still buy the Raspberry Pi 4. If you're watching this video because you want to see, should I just wait for the Raspberry Pi 5 and not buy the 4? No. I don't think the Pi 5 is coming near in any time near. I think it will be a good while till it actually releases. And the, even if it does, the Pi 4, it's not that expensive. It's an amazing board. You can act, there's so many projects available for it, so many operating systems. It really is a fun device. So I would say go buy it right now. Don't wait for the Pi 5. We don't know when it's coming out. And if you really do want something to play around with or you have a specific reason for one of these boards, buy the Pi 4. It will do many things that you need. Yeah. 
So that's all from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit long and messy, but I hope you still enjoy just going over the specs, the rumors, and everything that's been talked about on the Raspberry Pi 5. Anything else you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. And thanks for watching. Thank you.